Let's now discuss one more theorem relating to moment generating functions. So this theorem has to do with convergence of moment generating functions. So if we see moment generating functions converge, then that implies convergence of CDFs or cumulative distribution functions. Okay, so let's define a sequence of random variables, x1, x2, x3, and so on. So each of these has MGF m sub x i of t, and then cdf f sub x i of x. So x1 has mgf m x1 of t, and then cdf f x1 of x. And then x2 has mgf m x2 of t, and cdf x f x2 of x, and so on. All right, so let's think about the limit of these mgfs. So suppose that this limit, as i goes to infinity, equals some m x of t, so some mgf, for all t in a neighborhood of zero. And let's um, have this limit be an mgf. Okay, so if this is true, then there exists some random variable, we could call it x, um, with cdf f sub x of x, where this cdf is defined as the limit of the cdfs from our sequence of random variables. And this random variable here, will have moments defined by the MGF m sub x of t, in other words, the limiting MGF here. So if we have the MGFs converge to this and this ends up being an MGF, then we know that there's some random variable that has this MGF and it has a CDF defined by the limit of the sequence of random variables, CDFs. All right, so we're not going to prove this theorem in general, but we're going to look at it in a specific case. So let's think about the case where we have a binomial distribution. So if you've um, done some work in practice, then you know that a binomial distribution with parameters n and p could be approximated by a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda if we use lambda equals np. So this is gonna work out approximately if n is large and np is small. So in other words, what this is saying is if x is binomial with uh, parameters np, y is Poisson with mean np, then if we want to know what's the probability that um, random variable x takes on some value, we could approximate it by the probability that our Poisson distribution, our Poisson distributed random variable takes on that value. Okay, so let's... Uh, see this by showing that the MGFs converge. So we're, in other words, we're going to show the MGF of our binomial distributed random variable is going to converge to um, the MGF for a Poisson. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to need to set up a couple things. So first thing is a lemma, and later it'll make sense why we're talking about this, but for now we'll just state it. So let AN be some sequence. So if AN converges to value a as n goes to infinity, then this quantity will converge to this. So this quantity here is um, 1 plus a n over n, all raised to the nth power. This will converge as n goes to infinity to e to the a. So we'll use that theorem when we prove this here. Okay, and then just a reminder, what is the MGF for a binomial um, that is here? 1 minus p plus p e to the t, all of that to the n. And then for a Poisson, we have e to the lambda times e to the t minus 1. 